What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, as there's been some interesting news on the company NEO as of late, we will go into that company in detail today. We will discuss their current share price, what the company actually does, what sector they're in, we will talk about that news that I've just mentioned, and finally we will check my own portfolio to see what current holding I have in this company and my plans for this company going forward. But as always, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing to this channel as we're currently on 309 subscribers and our next target is to get to 350. So with all that being said, let's dive right into today's video. So firstly, for those of you that aren't aware of this company, NIO is a Chinese automobile manufacturer headquartered in Shanghai that specializes in designing and developing electrical vehicles. The company is also involved in the FIA Formula E Championship, the first single-seater, all-electric racing series. So as we can see here on Yahoo Finance, NEO Limited has ticker symbol NIO. It is traded on the New York Stock Exchange and at time of recording, their share price is $26.70. It has went up a massive 23.5% today alone. NEO is in the consumer cyclical sector and in terms of the industry it's auto manufacturers and at the time of recording they had 6624 full-time employees their founder chairman and ceo is mr william lee the company's top three shareholders are the bailey gifford and company with a 61.11 percent holding which is quite a large holding for one company Second top shareholder is BlackRock with a 26.68% holding and in third position is Vanguard Group with a 17.87% holding. The company has been in a rather impressive run over the last year. We can see here one year ago their share price is $1.46 and it is currently up to $26.75. If we go back a bit in terms of the one month chart we can see here that has made a steady progression from let's say about $18 a share a month ago and then since then it's gone up about seven or eight dollars per share and especially there since the 13th of October we can see it went from $21.62 up to $26.78 so if we go to the one day chart we can see here that it had or the five day chart sorry we can see here that it had a drastic increase on the 13th and 14th of October and we will go into why that is the case now when we will discuss the news that has driven the nav up such a large position over the last few days. So there has been many reasons for the rapid increase in their nav. So you can see here from investor.com that they have a quite an interesting article. So we'll just go through that a bit here. So we can see that NEO bought several new near-term catalysts and the Chinese EV maker is poised to take a big slice of the market that Tesla dominates. So we can see that JP Morgan analyst Nick set a new price target of $40 per share by June 2021. And if we scroll down a small bit further here, we can see that JP Morgan by 2025 expect NEO to capture 7% of the electric vehicle market, which certainly is a large enough chunk of the share considering that the market leader Tesla has quite a large position in this sector when we scroll down a bit here we can see some of the near-term catalysts including the upcoming neo earnings for the third quarter which are likely in mid-november a potential expansion of gross profit margin by a further 12 percent a strong backlog of orders with the wait time for the newly launched neo crossover currently at eight weeks and finally the expected debut of a new sedan at neo day set for december 2020 Founded in 2014, NEO's present lineup includes the ES8 and the ES6 SUVs, beside the new EC6, which is the challenging the Made in China Model 3 sedan. One of the favourite things that I've noticed about NEO is that they have a lot of different catalysts that can play a large role in increasing their share price. Unlike, let's say, Workhorse stock, and I also want to add that I still have shares in this company also but Workhorse they're kind of really all the cards are in the USPS contract so I feel that if that doesn't go ahead their stock price will drastically decline because of this 
Whereas with Neo, they have about four to five different catalysts that I've mentioned previously in this video that all could have a very positive effect on their nav. So here we are in my trading two on two portfolio. We will just check my current position in Neo now as we will be doing a complete updated weekly stock portfolio update tomorrow. So we leave that till then. So if we scroll down here, we can see that in terms of Neo, we just have 0.62 of a, of a share at the moment, which again isn't a lot. It only equates to about 14 euro and 30 cent. We're currently up 25.35% or 2 euro and 90 cent. And just while we're here, I suppose, we can go into my YouTube pie, which Neo is a part of. And I discussed numerous times throughout my videos why this current position or this current pie only has 120 euro in it is because there's, there's four speculative companies in here that can be quite risky. So I only wanted to have a small amount of capital in here at any one time just for companies that I mentioned throughout my videos. For example, Neo Today. We also discussed Workhorse in prior videos, Virgin Galactic, Lordstone Motors or Diamond Peak. And we can see here that they're all quite volatile. So Workhorse is currently down 3% or just under 3%. It was up 10 or 12% a few days back. Virgin Galactic is currently up 12.5%. Lordstone Motors is down about 3.79%. Again, that was down about 15% a few days back. And Neo, which was in the red a few days ago as well, is currently up 25%. So you can see in comparison to a lot of my other blue chip companies that the growth sector YouTube pie, they are quite volatile. Hence why I only have a small position in here at the moment as this kind of pie is for more of entertainment purposes to see how companies that I mentioned that are in the speculative and kind of volatile sectors, how they perform over the long term. So I'll be adding more companies into this pie in the coming weeks also. I have a few in mind that I might make a video on in the coming days about. So going forward over the following weeks and even months, my plan for the company Neo is the same as realistically every other company I hold. I don't really buy on impulse, so I don't buy when a share goes way up. I don't buy when it goes way down, I kind of buy on the average. So as Neo is in my YouTube pie with Virgin Galactic, Workhorse and Diamond Peak or Lord Sun Motors, I'll be continually just adding in, let's say, 100 euro here and there to help increase my positions across all four. So that will help improve my dollar cost averaging over the current weeks and months if the volatility in the market starts to increase due to the presidential elections, due to increases in the virus, etc. So I'll definitely be keeping a close eye on all these companies and Neo in particular to see when's the best point to buy more of this company at the best prices possible. So with all that being said guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope this video gave you some bit of an insight into the company Neo. if you weren't aware of this company already. Again, everything I discussed in this video is kind of brief to keep the video within a reasonable amount of time. We discussed their current share price, their ticker, their nav, what their current situation is in terms of how they are progressing, their current related news, their catalysts, that are driving the price up over the last few days and we discussed my own position and my plans going forward for this company. Definitely if you think this company has a lot more potential do your own due diligence and your own more detailed research as again this video is only for entertainment purposes only so I just went through this company quite briefly and I didn't really go into a lot of detail just to keep this video short enough. So with all that being said guys thanks very much for watching. And I really appreciate the subscriber count at the moment. We went up nine subscribers today alone, which definitely is the most I've went up in one day. I usually go up an average of one to two subscribers. So thanks very much for the continued support. And with all that being said, that's the end of the video. Thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.